I've been driving from the coast inland through the desert for hours, and I have to say, the landscape and the view, it just hasn't changed at all. It's this unbelievably dry, barren, reddish rock. It's like being on Mars. The driest place on Earth, unbelievably there are areas here that haven't seen rain in 500 years. And this desert is also battered by strong winds from the Andes, extreme temperatures and frequent earthquakes. But what it does have is huge, unpolluted skies, making it the perfect place for the European Southern Observatory. And I'm here to see where the astronomers call home. Now, in this unbelievably hot, staggeringly dry, harsh landscape, somewhere there's a 108 bedroom hotel for all the scientists who want to peer at these wonderful skies. I tell you what, it's so well camouflaged, you'd hardly even know it was there. Oh, my word. Look at that. This is the Esso Hotel, possibly the remotest hotel on the planet. It's a super tough, quite brutal building, just like the landscape. And that's no surprise. At over 2,500 metres above sea level, almost everything needed to build this structure had to be brought in, even the water to mix the concrete. So to build a building in this location, it's unbelievable. As if designing and constructing this hotel wasn't difficult enough, there was another astonishing requirement the architect had to meet. Because those telescopes up there are so sensitive to light at night, they don't want any light pollution. So this building, which, remember, is 108 bedrooms, 176 metres long, is not allowed to emit more artificial light than a single 100-watt light bulb. That is amazing. From the outside, this brutalist structure blends perfectly within its arid surroundings. But once inside... ..it's a different story. I wasn't expecting that. Look at it, it's green. And here, it's the most wonderful oasis of tranquility and calm. And I'll tell you what, it gives you respite and relief from the heat outside. This magnificent garden is flooded with light, and the humidity in here is a comfortable 35%, compared to the super dry 5% outside, allowing these succulent plants to thrive. But before you plan to book in, this hotel is only open to scientists working at the Paranal Observatory. This bit of this might look like a health spa, but it's not. It's a monastery to stargazing. 